All right, guys, so walking through here, I just was up on the roof. Um, this is all, this is, this should be nice and hard. You can see where it's starting to bubble right here. This is like a trampoline. It's a good one inch of play. Um, usually they leak around the air conditioner. This is how it should be. This one's also got wet. This is how it should be. And this is how it is here. The floors are solid. All the floors are good. Um, the insulation on, underneath um, is actually bending the frame. I took some pictures. The weight, it got wet and that insulation, um, unfortunately, see that, that's, this whole thing is Luan. And if you pulled off any one of these lights and you put a screwdriver to that, you could probably pull this thing right out because it's probably rotted. That right there is because it's not enough. These panels are warping, and that's not keeping it up there. Um, you know, it's clean. Um, it's clean at a. Uh, you know. Six to eight grand clean. You know, and that would be a deal. Not 15, not 12, not 10. Um, I'm going to show you what it looks like underneath here. I did take some pictures, but. See how it's. This should be all taut. This right here. The frame is. Bent. I don't know if it can do it any justice, but it's got a bow to it. That's that's sagging right there. Um, all the tires have dry rot. The original tires from 2016. They should get replaced every four years, five years max. Um, so. I would walk away from this one. It's the right layout, but campers are sponges. Um, and that's what happens. They look good from the outside, but uh, I think on the other side, it's got some issues. issues. I saw some uh, some uh, siding material underneath, like it's been the previous owners or this owner did something with it. Um, the tires are talking them a couple hundred bucks a piece, and I don't know if you can see it, but this is the worst one. Uh, three of them are just a little bit less, but not much better. I think this was the best one, and that's only because I couldn't spend enough time on it. No, dry rot right there. So it's not the best one. So I would say pass, Scott. You don't want something you have to work on. Um... Awning starting to blow out. There's seven, eight hundred bucks. 
and the stitching is dry rot right there. But I would pass it. You don't want to have to deal with this shit if you're coming down every six months. We're going to have to find you a tighter one. All right?